Welcome along and today we are going to be looking at how we can add some beautiful snow to our stream to make things feel just a little bit more festive. In fact, you can use this same technique to add pretty much anything that you want over your stream. And it's going to look a little bit like this. Look at this snow. It's snow, not dandruff. It's snow. If you're pleased to know, this is a really easy one to set up. So without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> Now to do this, you're going to need two things. One of them is OBS Studio and the other one is a 4K video downloader. In fact, pretty much any video downloader will work. But you need the ability to download videos off the internet somehow. You may be able to find some footage that you want to use for the snow off stock footage sites. That is also absolutely fine. But I'm going to leave a link down in the description which gives you a tool that will let you download pretty much any YouTube video. What's really important is if you are looking for footage to use on your stream, you must check that it is copyright free. So do check the description. You may be asked to link to the original creator for that footage. So just keep that in mind because you don't want to have any of those nasty DMCA strikes now, do you? Very topical indeed. So you can take your pick, any snow image that you would like. Now what I would suggest you do is that find something that either is against a completely black background or you find something that is against a green screen background. So the first thing is head over onto YouTube, have a search for whichever effect you're looking for, and then you just need to grab the address for that video and paste it into the 4K video downloader. That will then automatically convert that file to an MP4 for you. Now there is an optional step where you can convert that MP4 file into a WebM file. I convert everything that I'm going to use on stream into WebM because especially in OBS it just seems to prefer it and it means that it's a smaller file size so you're going to have less issues with it affecting your stream quality. So I've gone ahead and I've found an image which has a black background. We have covered in the past how you actually key out backgrounds using DaVinci Resolve, but we're not gonna do anything that complex today. We can do everything directly within OBS Studio. So once you've downloaded the image, remember right now I'm doing a snow theme because we are coming up to Christmas and I thought some of you guys might like to add a little bit of the old Christmas spirit to your streams, but you could use this very same technique for pretty much anything. So, you know, around Halloween, you could have pumpkins falling or, or something like that. There's plenty of opportunities that you can use the same technique just using different movie files. So once you have got that file, save it somewhere that you can find it. The next thing you're going to need to do is you need to add that image as a source into your scene that you want it to appear. So go ahead and click the plus button at the bottom within sources. Within there, you can go ahead and choose the option that says a media source. You'll then be asked to create a new media source. So go ahead and do that. In this case, maybe go ahead and call it snow. And then on the next page, you will need to go ahead and select the tick box that says local file. And then in the address bar underneath, choose your image that you have saved. Depending on how you want the animation to work, if you just want snow to fall once when you turn the source on, you could just leave it as it is. But if you want it to continuously play again and again, choose the option to loop. You can affect a few other things in here. You can change the speed of the clip, speed it up or slow it down. So have a little play with that. But at that point, you don't really need to do anything else. Just go ahead and hit OK. So now you can see what that's done is it's put on the snow image, but it still has the black or the green background, depending on which type that you use. So what we need to do is we need to effectively do something that is called keying out a color that sits within the image. So you can do this either with the chroma key or with the luma key filters. So to add a filter, really simple. We just need to right click onto the snow source that we've just made and choose filters. So in here, you've got two areas where you can add various filters. At the top, you've got audio and video filters. And at the bottom, you've got effect filters. Because this image is black and white that we're using in this instance, I would say in this case, the luma key might work the best. So if you go ahead and choose the luma key, you just presented then with four sliders. There's Luma Max, Luma Smooth, Luma Min, and Luma Min Smooth. Basically, you just need to kind of play around with these dials. So just fiddle with them until you get to the point of where you just have the white snow left. 
I find that having some smoothing on there often deals with the edges that you might see where there's a little bit of shading on there. I mean, for this particular example, this will work really well because it's a very, very simple image of literally just white on a black background. If you were using an image against a green or a blue screen or something that had a different color in the background, you may want to use the color key instead or even the chroma key. They all have different purposes. The key, pardon the pun, is in the name. So if there's a colour in the background, I would probably use the colour key and say how that looks. But all you would do, say for example in the colour key, is if your background was green, you would choose the colour key type as green from the drop down. And then again, play around with the sliders there until you get rid of all of that green, but without it affecting the main part of the image that you're looking at. This is the method that I used for every single pop-up that appears on my stream where everyone asks, how did you get it? So there's no background on that animation and, and this is it. And that is pretty much it. <laughs> it, it. I mean, look at it. It looks great. It's done. That is it entirely. How easy is that? Now, in my instance at the moment, I'm just using the snow on one of my scenes. So on my just chatting scene, it is just there and it plays through all the time and it keeps looping and looping and looping. But you could also use something like Lioran board, maybe Touch Portal, maybe a Stream Deck. If you're using any of those tools, you could actually link it so that maybe on a command that somebody types into chat, such as command snow, or maybe you could link it to a channel point so that people can redeem the snow to fall for a period of time in the stream. So then you could make it really interactive for your viewers to be able to trigger all of these things. I've actually done a full tutorial on how to do exactly that using Liar and Bard. So I will leave the details for that also down in the description. So do check it out. That is it for today. A really nice quick one. I hope that you found that useful. If you did, be sure to hit the like, hit that subscribe button and the bell, all of those things. They do help me out massively. Drop a comment below. You know all the things that I love. If you do have any questions, feel free to drop into my stream. I stream every single weekday at 9am UK time and I'm more than happy to answer any questions. I also have a discord. I will leave all of the links of all of the places that you can find me down in that description. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope you have a fabulous day, whatever you're doing, and I will catch you in the next one. There's so much inappropriate grabbing. Speaking of, massive boobs. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no, you didn't, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty boy!